Hey, what's up guys? Jake Rodeo Almighty here. Today I'm down at the river and today I'm going to be scuba diving for some river treasure. Now I'm super excited to get out in the water today. It's a beautiful day, but not only that, I'm doing something brand new I've never done before and that's taking my kayak with me out while I scuba dive and look for treasure. On the last video, we actually went down river and we found a lot of cool stuff, but the downside of this is I actually had to carry all that stuff back up river and it was just kind of a big hassle. You remember last time I told you guys, the further you go down river, the higher the chances that we can run into an alligator. So it's going to be even creepier and creepier the further I go down. But I feel like there's going to be some really good stuff down there because no one swims down there. Now I know I'm going to get a bunch of comments asking what type of kayak I'm using in today's video. I'm using Old Town's Predator MK. Now they're not paying me to say this, but in my opinion, I think this is one of the best kayaks in the world. And the reason why it's one of the best is because it has a trolling motor built inside and you can control the way you're going with your feet. Personally, this is one of the best kayaks for me because the river has a lot of current. All I got to do is turn a knob and I can cruise on up river. So I'm going to take advantage of this trolling motor today. When I'm done, I'm just going to hop in the kayak, turn the knob, cruise on up river, put it back in my truck, and I don't have to carry all my stuff that I found. Oh, hey, drop a thumbs up if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future. If we could break 30,000 likes on this video, I'll get Big O Bertha, my kayak, and we'll go even further down river next time I come out here. Oh gosh, about to go over some rapids here. Some little ones. It's still scary. Oh! <laughs> so I just went up river to start things off and I went across the rapids right here, man. That was scary. <laughs> Almost flipped. All right, guys, so we're just pulling up on our first. Oh my gosh, the turtle fell in the water. <laughs> that scared me. We're just pulling up on our very first dive spot. This is called Cup Bait. I've told you guys before, this is one of the most dangerous locations to dive in the entire river. It's filled with fishing line and hooks. There's just thousands of cat fishermen that fish this spot every single year, and that's what makes it so dangerous. But we're gonna pull up over here, drop anchor, but we're gonna get down there and look for some treasure. The water's pretty murky. I don't really know what to expect, but hopefully we can find a few nice things. We'll review some of the stuff we found, and then we'll pick a new location, and then we'll go there. Water's so cold right now. I'm actually about to put on two wetsuits before I head out. I feel so constricted. I need to get something better, either a thicker wetsuit or maybe like a dry suit or something. But dang, this right here is ridiculous. <laughs> so I got two wetsuits on. I feel really constricted. I could probably barely even swim, but I also put on my hood as well. I look ridiculous, but I'm gonna be super warm, and that's all that matters. With the extra wetsuit, I'm gonna be super buoyant. So I'm also gonna have to put on my weight belt. All right, so I can barely breathe. I have all the gear on. It's like really constricting me, but let's get the scuba tank on my back and head out there to look for some treasure.
So I just got done diving at cup eight and the water was absolutely freezing. The double wetsuit was a good call, but I could barely move under the water. And I actually got a cramp underneath the water as well. I was like sitting there stretching my leg out like 15 feet deep. <laughs> The water clarity wasn't the greatest either. It was pretty murky, but I made do with what I had and we found some great stuff. Let's go and check it out. All right, so I'm gonna start things off with my funniest find of the day. And that is this giant pair of shorts. Look at these things, man. You know what's really funny though? There's a hole right here in the middle. <laughs> Most likely you probably walked out of here butt naked, but man, that's hilarious. So right now the water's super low at the river, but when the water's high, Cup 8 is the biggest rapid in the entire river. I can imagine this guy like flipping overboard on the raft and coming up butt naked with the shorts gone. That's funny, man. I actually found another phone. This is actually a really cool find. The front's all messed up, but on the back right here, it says Nokia. This doesn't give me the same thrill of finding an iPhone or whatever, but like this is still pretty cool. This is an old knife and it doesn't look like it's been in the river for too long, but it's definitely like rusted shut. But when I was diving at Cuphead, I found this huge wall of fishing line and within that fishing line, I found this old pole. Oh, this is an Abu Garcia reel. It's not really all that good anymore, but it was pretty expensive at one point. Oh, whoa. That's a big hook right here. Look at this thing. I always wonder how people lose their fishing poles and it's probably either a big giant fish pulled it in the water or maybe they dropped it overboard on a boat, but always cool to find a fishing pole. I only found one pair of sunglasses and I ended up finding these ones right here, these aviator style ones. I don't know if these are name brand or not, but regardless, it's a pretty rare find to find sunglasses right now. There's not a lot of raptors going down the river just because the water temperature is super cold. I found this bobber like floating like this on the line. So I cut the fishing line and it starts floating up. So I reach up and grab it. And every time I open up my treasure box, this thing would just like fly out and hit me in my face. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a really good bobber though. Found this old spool to a fishing pole. It actually still has fishing line on it too. This is probably the best fishing lure I have found in a few months. This thing is brand new. The guy must have just lost it today. I actually use these lures a lot in the river and this is like one of my go-tos and it's really cool that I actually found one in great condition. So that's pretty awesome, man. Seriously though, like that guy must have just lost his fishing lure today because this thing is brand new. <laughs> this is an old Kitex swim bait and usually these things are pretty small and this thing sponged up in the water, just soaked up all the water. <laughs> That's hilarious. Ended up getting a couple golf balls. I actually found three, but I couldn't get the third out of the rock. It was stuck, man. I was so disappointed. <laughs> So as usual, I found a handful of sinkers in the river and uh, these are pretty much always reusable. So I can either give them out to some cat fishermen or take them home for, you know, whenever I want to go cat fishing. Cup bait is actually kind of like half man-made, half natural. And you know, the reason is because that's like the biggest rapid in the entire river and they really wanted to make it better. So they went in and they like made cemented rocks and, and on those rocks, they have this weird cloth and it always gets caught up with fishing line and hooks and uh, as usual we found a whole bunch of stuff over there as well that's why you always see this cloth material in my videos never really explained that but they just kind of uh, assisted that area like it's still natural but you know they went in and put some new rocks for everyone so the wave could get bigger and i also found my fair share of like the typical lures you always find out here such as like flukes and swim baits these are like the usual lures people use out here while fishing in the river <laughs> Okay, so we're back in the kayak right now, and my original plan was to hop back in the kayak, go down river, and dive at a new location, but after diving at Cup 8 for about an hour, I'm absolutely freezing. But we'll pick things back up tomorrow, we'll bring the kayak back out here, and we'll head down river and dive at a new location. Uh, that was my original plan, but I'm freezing right now, and I don't want to really get sick, so we'll call it a day, and we'll come back out here tomorrow. A while back, you saw an alligator just at the same river, but right, just just about a mile down? Yeah, right one, about huh? a mile, he was huge. So that was just like right down there, huh? Yeah, down right down the river. That's where I'm going. Yeah, <laughs> you better be careful. <laughs>